It's time for everyone's favorite grammatical concept, demonstrative adjectives. That's your topic, and here's your essential question. Como se dice this, that, and the other? Oh, just kidding. Como se dice this, that, and more explosions? These and those. That's what we're going to find out today. Okay, that's all the explosions you get tonight. But yes, we're going to learn how to say this, that, these, and those in Spanish. And we're going to learn how to say them both feminine and masculine forms, and plural and singular. All right. Oh, by the way, utility words notes we're doing here. So, at the ready, here we go. You're going to write this chart, and you're going to have, so you have it quartered, a feminine column, column and a masculine column. And then the top section, the top row will be singular and the bottom row will be plural. And then make two circles. The inner circle, you're going to write all of the these forms. Now think about the difference between these and those. These are things that are right here by me. So if I'm referring to it, I'm saying, oh, um, would you like some of these cookies that I have right here? I'm holding them or they're on the table and I'm right next to them pointing to them. Um, on the other hand, if I say, would you like some of those cookies? I'm talking not about something close to me, but something farther away. And so and in Spanish, we distinguish in that way, too. These are called demonstrative adjectives because they're adjectives that we use to demonstrate uh, something nearby or far. You know, this phone, that book, those socks these pencils and so forth. All right, let's start filling in the chart and we'll also put in some examples. Okay, we'll start with the feminina form of this, the singular form, we'd say esta. So if I want to say this apple, esta manzana, or actually let's use some of our recent vocabulary. Why don't we say esta camiseta, this shirt or this t-shirt. There it is, this one, this one right here. Esta camiseta. Notice how it's feminine, it's singular. Um, now, <laughs> okay, <sighs> proviso here or disclaimer, this isn't my fault. Spanish messed this one up. If we follow the pattern that's already established, the masculine form should be esto, um, you know, esto zapato, but that's not it. You actually say este. Um, so I say este zapato. Why is it an E instead of an O? Don't ask me, ask Spanish. If, if you find out, you can tell me. But Spanish hasn't told me. It's keeping mum. So, este is just the masculine singular form of this. Here's another example. Este suéter. This sweater. This one right here that I'm holding or wearing. This sweater with a snake on it. Isn't that cool? I want it. Este suéter. This sweater. Now, how do you say the plural forms of these? Let's try them out. So that would not be this shirt, but these shirts. Notice how we pluralize it kind of weird in English, or these sweaters. All right, here's how you do it in Spanish. Feminine form is as simple as adding an S. Estas. There you go. So for example, estas botas. These boots. Oh, are they cute? Every pig should wear boots. Estas botas, these boots. So just add an S to make it plural. And in fact, um, you'd think, once again, disclaimer, it would make sense for Spanish to just add an S to the singular form for the masculine. But they don't, they go back to what they should have done in the first place. The plural form of this, these, masculine in Spanish is estos. So the only weird one is the masculine singular form. Sorry, don't know what Spanish is thinking. So let's get a sample for estos, how about estos pantalones, these pants. And of course when I say these pants I'm referring to nothing other than hammer pants. Can't touch this. Do, 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 do. do you guys even know who MC Hammer is? You'll have to look him up if you don't. Ah, uh, the 90s. Estos pantalones, these pants, plural form of this. All right, let's move on to the outer circle now. This will be uh, how we say these, or, or excuse me, those. 
So now we're not talking about things that are right here by us or that we're indicating or demonstrating right by us, but things that are farther away. So let's go back to the feminine form. That would be esa. So if I want to say, for example, that shirt, I'd say esa camiseta. This shirt, this one right here, esta camiseta. But that one over there, esa camiseta. Uh, here's a, um, I won't have you write down more sample sentences. You, you get the idea. Um, let's go to the masculine form. And once again, the singular masculine form is weird. It should be eso, but it's not. It's ese. So I would say this sweater, I'd say este sweater, but if I want to say that water, one, that sweater over there, ese sweater. Uh, notice the pattern here to say the difference between this and that. Take out the T. All you got to do. If the T is in there, it's this. If the T is gone, it's that. All right. Um, let's do the feminine form of not these but those over there esas and once again it's just as simple as taking that the singular form and adding an s so if I want to say these boots um, I'd say estas botas but if I wanted to say those boots esas botas and once again these the close to me one has a t uh, those the far away one doesn't have a t Estas botas, esas botas. And again, the only difference between that and those is um, the, that is a singular. Esa, those, make it plural, add an S. Not too shabby. And finally, the masculine form. Once again, it breaks the pattern and goes back to what it should have been in the first place. Those is esos. So if I want to say these pants, estos pantalones. If I want to say those pants, Esos pantalones. Those ones over there. Once again, the close to me form has a T. Estos. The far away from me form has no T. Esos. Um, just so you know, and I'm not going to have you add this to your notes right now, but in Spanish we've got the close to us form, which is like this and these, and we've got the farther away from us form, which is that and those. Um, but Spanish has a third form, which is that way over there um, one and that's aquel and aquella or aquellos and aquellas so it wouldn't be just like not not those ones over there but those ones way over there um, the closest we've got to it in English is the kind of archaic yonder the, the yonder book you know it's not just you know this book it's not just that book but it's yonder book like way over there we don't really use that in at least not in standard English dialect anymore but it's a um, it that kind of thing is still used in Spanish so actually we would make a third circle I'm not gonna ask you to do that for now um, maybe in future Spanish classes but just so you know it's there if you see it you'll be like oh that's what they're talking about all right get those notes down and be prepared to practice them and have a good day. Adios.